Hey guys, welcome back again to this another video. It's your boy Chaps Bands. So today I'll be here discussing with you some good good content uh, which can be beneficial for you or other friends of yours. So guys as you know here we always talk about business business in particular we always talk about business so today i'm back again here with another video i'll be discussing a lot of things with you so today we shall be talking about home business uh businesses that you can do at home so most of you guys have been asking me questions like which low-cost home business can you venture into in uganda so most guys have been have been asking me such questions. So today I'll be talking to you and I'll be discussing with you in details uh, these some of the businesses which you can venture into here in Uganda. So first of all, uh, we shall talk about gardening. I know most of you guys don't like that stuff. I uh, don't like that things. So someone might be like gardening yeah so gardening is also one of the businesses you can venture in for example if you have uh even if you have a little piece of land or even if you don't have a lot of space you can venture into gardening so gardening business it depends on what you feel like yeah uh, you wish what you like most so for example you can do the teaming uh you can plant cabbages in tins tomatoes onions around your home then the surplus you can sell that one so gardening is a low-cost home business in a ugandan can afford so food is basically what we need most so if you venture into such you can also get food for your consumption and also food for sale so with improved gardening methods one can also grow edible crops for sale even or on the smallest plot of land for people living in urban areas gardening is uh, so profitable because the demand for fresh organic and clean food is high so that's what i talked about you can uh, plant some some in tins and others in your veranda and uh, like that so you'll be able to gather and make some money from your gardening so another thing which uh, i'm going to talk about uh, this is hairdressing business guys so these businesses i'm trying to talk about others need you to be having some skills you need to acquire those skills like planting hair doing other things uh, about hairstyle treating it washing it styling it and other things so you need to gain some basic skills so what you'll do here you need to go and learn some basic skills then you can be able to do such things so about hairdressing business uh, this one is a profitable one it's a low cost home business in uganda uh, ladies and gentlemen spend so both ladies and gentlemen spend most of their times in saloons and other places so this one you can do it at home you can arrange some space buy your equipment machines like that then you can start it around your home so another thing which i'll talk about guys here it is uh, fishing farming so fish farming is a low cost home business with high profit margins you can quickly grow fish in human made ponds and tanks with a few materials obtained locally it is easy to make a pond fill it with fresh water and begin rearing fish start selling in the neighborhood markets around to earn money you will need training and an experience to do this business so there is also fish farming so fish farming you can use the local materials which you have you can be having maybe old drums then you can go cutting them halves then uh, put them somewhere collect some water then get some small fish young fish then rear it you can feed that fish then after some time it will grow then you will start selling and you can also consume some then you'll make some money fish farming so this one you can also make ponds yourself uh, if you have somewhere you can go and dig your own pond then you start rearing fish so fish farming is also another business which you can do from home or around your homestay 
So another thing we shall see is uh, on the list, it is the chicken rearing. Yeah, chicken rearing. So many Ugandans in urban areas have embraced chicken rearing because chicken and eggs are in a high demand, especially if they are of good quality. Look around for hybrid chicken, start rearing. Local chicken is preferred most by Ugandans. Also, you can learn new and modern chicken rearing methods to succeed in the business. So you can also do some small research to see how, uh, what is needed, uh, which efforts need when you are trying to rear chicken. So you can venture into, you can go into chicken, uh, chicken farming whereby you can also like keep birds for either uh, either meat uh, is it meat chicken uh, that chicken then uh, also for broilers you can go for those ones which lay eggs things like that then can make some money so this business you can start it also in your homestead around your home uh, you can you can make you can make a wooden house, then uh, divide it, put there some buds, start making some money. You start with a little money, then it can grow into a bigger one as long as you manage it well. So everything managed well, we have to gain something from it. So another thing which we shall talk about is uh, wine making. So guys will be like, ah, wine making, that's uh, those are things for big guys, factories, what? Because you know grapes, uh, grapes are expensive. How will I start winemaking? No, it's not all about grapes only. You can use other fruits, make research. Guys, if you have internet, you can Google uh, which other types of fruits you can. Uh, about the businesses which you can do at home. So, so, but, one we talked about different businesses which you can do from at home uh, from your home we talked about uh, gardening then we also saw hairdressing business we saw fishing farming then chicken rearing and wine making so today we shall be starting on uh, professional services there is a variety of low-cost home business in which professionals can engage themselves if you are skilled in anything, think about training it into, uh, sorry, think about turning it into something you can do at home. For example, consultancy services are, are on a high demand in various fields. So another thing which you can do at your home, uh, if you're a profession, uh, if you're a professional in some uh, faculty or you have skills in different things so you can do this thing uh, you can provide such a service also at your home so make sure you share your contacts make business cards share with people you can arrange some space at your place or home whereby you can be giving such services so another thing which we will talk about this one is all about blogging so blogging offers a variety of low cost home business opportunities many bloggers worldwide are earning a lot of money bloggers make commission from marketing other people's products on their sites uh, it requires continuous writing to provide fresh uh, freshness to your blog you will need a computer internet connection and online marketing skills but all those ones are not uh, not vital as long as you have an internet connection you have a mobile phone or any gadget which supports internet then you can do blogging so you can also uh, copy and paste uh, and do some editing in posts uh, other people's content because other creators allow people to use their material so you can use that material you edit it you explain it well then produce it give it to people then uh, you can start blogging then there is Google Adsense they will give you ads then you'll be able to earn some money and make a living and you can do all these ones from at home at your own time at your own pace so another thing which we shall talk about is uh, marketing crafts so marketing crafts 
or making crafts. So these ones go hand in hand with, uh, for example, the uh, crafts like uh, craft making in Uganda is profitable. People make handcrafts from many free materials around. If, uh, like, for example, used straws, you can make these bags, carry bags. Uh, then uh, a lot of things. You can also use uh, palm leaves and uh, a lot. Then you can make those crafts. You can make different things, uh, mats things like that so you can make money all these ones you can do them from your home so if you don't know those skills you can look for people who know how to do them then they'll help you also to learn how to do such things so another thing which we shall talk about is uh, graphic designing graphic designing so graphic design is in a high demand in print media with your designing skills you can design logos brochures images packaging uh, business cards and advertisements for small businesses, individuals and companies. So all these ones you can do them at home if you have uh, uh, if you have those uh, skills whereby you can sit on a computer, design something, then design something for people, then you can get some money through through designing and making different things like that. So, so among other things which you can design, uh, they've given you examples of logos. You can make a logo for a company or other different things like that. So another thing which I'll talk about is food processing. Depending on your area of specialization, food processing offers many low-cost business opportunities with simple processing equipment. You can process many foods to sell in the neighborhood, but you have to abide to the UNBS quality standards so you can process some foods at home but you have to make sure you are clean you have to make sure your things are safe for the people so you have to be hygienic very clean and neat so you can go into food processing all these ones you can do them at home you can use small machines which are somehow cheaper you can find them like in cutway so things like that so another thing which we shall talk about is beekeeping so beekeeping is still there so if you have some land then you can also go in for beekeeping if you are living where there is enough vegetation so you know bees they go with vegetations which uh, produce flowers things like that where they can collect pollen grains things like that so if you are somewhere where there are many vegetation, then you can go in for beekeeping. So you can take advantage of that one, yeah, and go for beekeeping. So another thing on the list which we shall talk about, which you can do from at home, is web designing. So if you have uh, skills in uh, HTT+, C++, JavaScript, things like that, but nowadays they don't need all that one, even if you don't have those skills. As long as if you have internet skills and uh, computer skills, you can also go for web designing because nowadays you can build a website without coding, things like that. So. You can go for web designing is a low cost home business for people skilled in creating excellent websites. Every uh, every business. So guys, that's how it is. So every organization, uh, individuals, they all need websites. So you'll be able to design for them websites that you'll be able to make some money and this one you can do it at your comfort of your home. So guys, thank you for watching part two of businesses which you can do from home or things which you can start up from home and make and earn a living. So I'll be coming back with part three still about which businesses you can do and work from home or things which you can do or businesses you can start up from home so guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like share our videos guys so when you share and like our videos 
you'll be giving us or you'll be supporting us to make more content thank you for watching we meet in the next video we need in uh, we meet in part three I'll hello how are you hope you're fine guys thank you for liking our videos thank you for subscribing thank you for coming back to watch another part three of businesses which you can do and uh, of businesses which you can do or work from home or businesses which you can start up at home so today i'll be continuing with another business and I'll be talking and I'll be giving you more businesses which you can do from your home. So today the first one on the list is uh, cleaning services. Offering cleaning service is considered to be a low cost home business anyone can establish. You only need cleaning materials and knowledge on what to do to clean house, roofs, carpets in people's homes. Once you set up yourself, they will call you offer, uh, to offer the service at some good money. So you can start up a cleaning business whereby you'll be providing uh, services whereby you can go and clean people's kitchens, people's houses, ceilings roofs everything then after setting up people will be then calling you to come and do those services so another thing on the list is water business so water is basic uh, is a basic need that one can do uh, uh, one cannot do away with in life in uganda there are many places without a constant water uh, supply selling water to people around you is a low-cost home business you can start by harvesting rainwater into a big tank which you can then sell during the dry season so guys you can harvest some water you can keep it somewhere in a big tank then after a certain period like in dry seasons you can go ahead to sell that water because i know some places they don't uh, have enough water so that one can also be a business which you can start up though it may take some time but if you're in that place where there is no enough water then you can go for it so another thing which you can do guys is the toilet business so if your home is uh, where there are many people think about offering toilet services to them at a cost people with uh, this kind of business earn a lot of money every day so if you are uh, you have your place or a home in, around a busy place or where there are very many people then you can consider making like a toilet for the public whereby they can pay you some money then to use that toilet you offer such a service you can make some good money very good money so another thing which you can do is uh, tents and chair for events so you can also go ahead to stock some tents chairs then you can rent them to these guys who do events maybe wedding ceremony it can be a funeral or a party anything like that so another thing which you can do from home or a home business is a mobile money dealer so if you are around a place where buy there are some other houses and near people then you can start up some small mobile money business or airtime selling so people will be coming transacting then you'll be making some good business so another thing you can do is uh, offering referral service uh, is a low cost home business with the potential to grow you can match people to their uh, required functions yes you could specialize in areas like house rental babysitting plumbing painting cleaning services and many others so you can also provide these services whereby uh, you can be like a blocker whereby you can look for homes or houses which need the uh, people to rent then for you you'll be knowing where they are so you can also be directing or you can also act as a plumber if you know that service or you can do painting cleaning service things like that 
so you'll be able to make some money through such things so another thing which you can do is uh, car washing if you have space or you are in an area where by you have enough space you can start up a car washing place in your home so you set a place aside then you can fetch some water you can arrange where people can come and park their vehicles then do that service for them then you can earn some money then another thing which you can do at the comfort of your home uh, this is uh, you can uh, also start up uh, you can also start up compound maintenance compound maintenance so this one you'll be giving services whereby you'll be maintaining people's compounds then they'll be paying you some money to do that stuff so another thing is uh, coffee business if you live near offices and busy places starting a coffee shop could be profitable you need to learn how to prepare different types of coffee and and start serving your coffee to those uh, office people because people will be in need of such things then you can offer such services then another thing on the list you can do grasshopper and ants business so here in uganda there are grasshoppers though they are seasonal if you can manage to stock those things throughout the year then you can make some good money through those things so guys thank you for watching part three of these uh, businesses which you can be continuing from where we stopped uh, so today we shall be heading to part four of our tutorial uh, these lessons which we've been taking on low cost businesses which you can start up here in Uganda so we shall continue uh, we talked about very many things in the previous videos so we are still continuing with these businesses until we finish them because I'll be giving you more than 34 businesses which you can start up or businesses which you can do at at your premises at your home where you are staying so now we shall continue with this part four so on the list today i have a dog training business so insecurity insecurity is increasing in urban areas the cost of hiring security guards in homes is high even with the existence of paid security guards cases of thugs are very many and even robbing then most people are now resorting to using trained dogs to guard their homes so this one can be one of uh, of a business which you can venture into whereby you can rear dogs and train them after training them then you can be supplying them to people who need them for security reasons so this one we shall put it on the list so this one is also a business which you can venture into and make some money through training dogs and rearing dogs or keeping them so another thing which you can go in for is uh, the milk business milk is is consumed every day by many people with little startup capital you can consider delivering milk to homes schools offices in your locality around your home or around uh, around the homes which are near you you can go supplying this milk and also you can use your creativity to produce other related products like ghee and yogurt and also sell them so all these ones you can do them in the comfort of your home so you can think about this business whereby you can start uh, this milk business then you can go ahead to supply it or you can make products which come out from that milk so for example the ghee and yogurt all these ones can be done at your home so another business we have here uh, you can do the painting business painting is another low-cost home business if you are skilled painter consider venturing into the painting business market yourself homes schools organizations and other and other places or other things as the best painter you need to offer quality services to get jobs regularly so make sure you do it to your best make sure if someone 
calls you to do the painting, make sure you do it so that that person can refer to you another person like that. So if you do good work, then that means you'll get more customers. So all these ones, you can do them coming from home. You don't need to go and start up or rent places or anywhere else. You can just do it at the comfort of your home. So another business which you can consider is mansion. Mansion. These guys are the ones who build houses. So if you have that skill, you can get a few, till, uh, a few tools, then market yourself in the neighborhood. Then people will be calling you to do some verandas, do for them finishing, things like that. Then you'll be able to make money. So this one, both men and ladies, uh, both gents and ladies can go in for this. So acquire those skills, then you can be moving around. People will be calling you guys come do for me this one and this one around home around the home things like that so another thing which you can uh, consider another business which you can consider is motorbike repair motorbike repair this one you can also start it around your home so motorbikes are everywhere in uganda they are convenient means of transport nowadays if you are near a busy place and you can repair bikes you could start a motorbike repairing business consider selling spare parts so in this one if you are trustworthy you can even get uh, uh, suppliers who will supply you with spare parts then after selling you can return back their money so it's like that so you can venture into such so another thing on the list is uh, furniture business if you know how to make furniture consider opening a workshop at your home get orders to make quality custom made furniture select a particular niche with a good market for example furniture for children multi-purpose furniture coffee tables etc be innovative and make quality furniture to win your customers heart so this one includes making uh, custom things uh, uh, so you can do anything which you can sell to your customers or which will be presentable to your customers which customers will like so that they can offer you another job the next time so another thing which you can go into is the plumbing business plumbing is also an excellent low-cost home business the demand for planning service in urban areas is high you only need to desire uh, you only need to uh, to get the desired skills, professional skills, and a few tools to get the job done. Establish yourself as a good plumber, you will get clients. So you can also learn these things. You don't need to go to a technical school. So you can get someone who is doing plumbing, who is good at it. Then maybe you can work with him for some good time. Then you learn those skills, buy those tools which are needed. Then you can start employing yourself. So another thing on the list is uh, you can also do general repair service. Many people have generators, uh, flat irons, fridge, and other things uh, like that. If you are good at repairing such items, consider turning your skill into a, uh, a, a, profitable, a profitable business. <laughs> Sorry guys, yeah. So if you have those skills, you can repair a speaker, you can repair a hoofer, TV, then go ahead and turn that one into a profitable business. So if you can, uh, if you are able to work on those things and they work, so many people have issues with those gadgets. So you'll be helping them to repair them, then in the long term, you are also making some good money. So another thing which you can think about is daycare center. You can make a daycare center whereby most busy parents in urban areas prefer keeping their children in a pleasant environment with people who can take care of them well. So if you love children and know what it takes to run a daycare, it could be a profitable business depending on your location. So you can start up a small daycare then People will bring you children, then you look after them, then 
you get some money so you can do that one around your home also so another thing which you can consider are the catering services catering services are in a high demand in uganda nowadays people are ever organizing parties party after party weddings occasions they prefer outsourcing these services because it's convenient and cost effective as well if you have the skill why not start this low-cost home business promote it neighbors friends relatives and other people offer quality services you'll get more orders so you can also start up this thing you can also start it up catering services you can do it at the comfort of your home so you can also use some of your family members to help you run it then you'll get orders from friends birthday parties what then you'll be able to serve them and you'll be able to make some good money from such a business so guys don't fear to start up go in for it so another thing which i'll talk about you can be a personal chef if you are a good chef offering yourself to prepare meals in uh, to prepare meals for your clients or your clients' homes is a great low-cost home business. Some well-to-do people need such services like in Kampala and other big cities, Mbarara and other places, Gulu. So some people need to hire people who can come like on weekends, do them, uh, prepare, make for them the best dishes. So you can venture into such. If you have those skills, then you can go in for it. So all these ones, you can start them at your home. So another thing which you shall be talking about here, it is uh, freelancer writing. So there are very many websites which can employ you, whereby you can do freelance. Uh, this is writing a good low cost home business. It's a, a low cost, good home business. You can do it at home. Then you can earn a living through writing, uh, writing blogs, writing pages for companies, articles, a lot of things. You can do a lot of things. Then they'll pay you at your home. So you'll be getting your money at your comfort of your home. So you can also do such things. So guys, thank you for watching. So guys, welcome back again to this another video, guys. So we shall be continuing with our part five on businesses that you can do from home. These are low cost businesses. So we shall be continuing. Uh, we've seen a lot of businesses as we've been discussing in all those other parts. So if you've not watched those parts, kindly check them. I'll also leave the cards. You can click on them on top so that you can watch all those first videos enjoy them then you learn something from them so we shall be continuing with this part five so that we can finish all these businesses because i promise to give you more than 30 more than 30 businesses which you can do from home i had to make some research for you guys so don't forget to like share and subscribe tell your friends also to watch these businesses maybe they could gain something from it so let's continue so today on the list i have also another business which you can start up or which you can venture into and this one is the window cleaning if you start a window cleaning business you can get some uh, good clients whereby you can get some small equipments and small gadgets uh, you use soap and other things then you can start up that window cleaning business so another thing which you can do is interior design so don't think guys that everything you need to be having skills so you can also do interior design so this one is also a good business there is an increasing number of able people in uganda who need this service get the word out of the people then if you are conservative with what you are doing then so another business which you can venture into is interior design so you can also go ahead and do that one you can venture into it then another business which you can consider is tv and radio phone repairing business so many people have a tv at home many people have a smartphone so 
you can learn some skills there is youtube videos you can watch those videos then you start up that business you can do all these ones from your home so you just need to buy a few gadgets then you start repairing those things through getting information from Google and other sources, then you learn and be an expert in those services. So all these ones to start them, you don't need a lot of money. So you can just start them from the comfort of your home. Then you'll be able to provide these services and gain some money. So another thing which you can do is sewing business, stitching and other things like that. So if you don't have that skill, you can go ahead to learn it. Then uh, there, uh, you can do designs for kids, children, custom caps, hats, very many things. You know those guys which they do. So you'll be able to make some money. You'll not spend, uh, you'll not, you'll not like, you'll not make a single day without making some money. So you can think about that one too. So another thing which you can think of is uh, a lunch delivery service so this skill you can do it from your home you can prepare some food go look for a market look for places like schools host, uh, hospitals and other places banks then supply them with good quality food then for lunch time so you can give them at a discount so that you can get more clients so another thing which you can go into is garbage collection so people in urban places in uh, Uganda have a problem with garbage. So garbage collection is a low cost business to manage with a wheelbarrow and some uh, containers. You can move from house to house collecting waste uh, for neighbors, then they can pay you some money. So a wheelbarrow, I don't know how much it is, but I don't think it can exceed 100 then uh, you can get a spade then you buy some gloves then you can start up so another thing which you can think of is toner and cartridge refilling so refilling cartridge with new ink is a great low-cost home business look for offices homes and business enterprises where you can offer quick delivery of recycled cartridges so you can look for schools uh big places banks where then and you start offering this service whereby you refill their cartridge. These ones go in photocopying machines and printers like that. So, another thing which you can uh, consider is translation services. If you can do translation, if you know French, German, Spanish, Chinese, English, or any other international language, translation service is a great low-cost home business you can offer you can go ahead to offer such a service. So guys, another business to consider is uh, internet marketing consultancy. If you have internet marketing skills, you could help business owners to market their businesses online. You can do this by promoting their businesses or empowering them on how to do it at a cost. So you can you can do marketing of people's businesses you can do referrals whereby you can advertise for them on internet look for them clients then they'll pay you some good money so another thing to consider is information technology this one is it consulting services so most people or businesses cannot hire full-time it specialists if you start offering the services, you will receive jobs from individuals, companies, and organizations. So this one can be an added advantage. So baking business is also another thing which you can think about. Baking is a low-cost home business with big profit margins. You can bake cakes, cookies, cupcakes. They are in high demand. People like fresh and homemade ones. So you can do these things then you can supply them you buy a white bucket a clean one you use your coffin bags and other related things then you can also pack your cakes anything which you have made or baked from home then you can sell it during morning times or evening times for people who like evening tea those ones who like morning tea things like that you can time those times so another thing you can think of is uh medical hubs farming. Uganda, uh, Ugandans believe so much in using local hubs 
uh, to cure various diseases. There is also a growing number of herbalists in Uganda. However, they get herbs from the forests and jungles. With the rampant deforestation, most uh, medical herbs are disappearing slowly by slowly. So, do your research for the most needed herbs and grow them at home. Herbalists will buy them right from your homes. So you can try planting these medicine, these, uh, these herbs, so that herbalists can use them. Or you can make your research and see which ones can bring or can generate more money, then you can look for them, then do the planting, look after them, then you can sell them for a source of money. Another thing which you can do is mobile bar tending business. A mobile bar tending company is a cooperatively low cost home business in which one can venture. It's not common in Uganda, but a mobile bar tending is like a traditional bar business. The only difference is that the bartender does not work at one location. He or she provides services at local events, parties, weddings throughout the year. To start a mobile bar tending business, you need to invest in your stock and bar. However, catchy fun name for your business. So this one mobile bar tending, you can make a uh, uh, you can make a bar which is mobile whereby you go to parties then supply them with drinks things like that for you you have to do it constantly so that you can make a name whereby they will know you that this and this person does such a service or offers such a service so another thing which you can uh, try on uh, it's one of the business which you can do from your home is public speaking business this one, public speaking business, the public speaking industry offers a variety of very low cost home business opportunities. If you have the skills, you can speak at weddings, introduction ceremonies, and many other special occasions. You need to establish yourself as the best speaker to convince people. A website can be an excellent marketing tool. So you can do those services if you are good at them like you can make people laugh, you can introduce people at wedding ceremonies and other things, funerals, then all these ones are businesses which can find you at home. So another thing which you can think of is brick making, brick making, brick laying. So this one is a very common business in some places. So people everywhere nowadays are building, they need building materials, bricks are some of the building materials one must use to construct a house with a simple manual brick making machine, soil and some water. You can start this very profitable low, uh, low cost home business. So you don't need a lot. So as long as you have some space then you can go in for it. So another thing which you can consider is tree planting. So tree planting nowadays is one of a kind. So do the tree planting, the best time to plant a tree is now. You plant the trees, then after you can harvest them. So guys, these are, these were the five parts of all the businesses which I wanted to share with you. I've shared with you 50 businesses which you can do and start up at a low cost at your home. So guys, if you don't like if you feel like you've enjoyed the video, kindly give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends.